What is up everybody is Evan Bacon from Expo and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload an Expo project to the iOS App Store. This is going to be mostly following building a standalone app from the docs on Expo and then deploying to the App Store. You know the resources will be down below the video or something. So the first thing we're going to do is install Expo. So npm install dash g exp. Now that it's downloaded, next thing we're going to do is go exp init and this is going to help create an Expo project. Um, I'm going to call this one printer paradise and I'm imagining that this is like um, we're gonna go with tabs template it's probably like a dating app for printer people like people who are really into printers as you can see it's going to be downloading the project files and extracting the project files basically it's just gonna do all this automatically and there we go now we have our project CD into my printer paradise all right so we're gonna go ahead and build this really quickly so we can see what it looks like so I'm gonna do exp start dash dash iOS and that's going to start the expo project and then it's gonna open the iOS simulator if you don't have expo downloaded it's going to download expo onto the simulator and then it's going to open this app in expo okay here we go so now it's opened up and this is the app that we're gonna get when we publish to the App Store so you know it's looking looking pretty generic but you can again you can change this and publish it whenever you want so before we go to publish it we need to do a few things come over here to iOS and we're going to add a bundle identifier so bundle identifier and then we are going to give it a unique string that's going to be the bundle identifier on the App Store so we're gonna go with like com dot and then your company name usually I'm just like a single entity when I'm posting this so it'll be Evan Bacon and then you know like printer paradise or something and that will work for our bundle identifier when you do Android you're going to add the Android object just gonna go ahead and cheat that in there the next thing we're gonna do and this is kind of the last thing for preparing it is we want to make sure that it has the right kind of icon for the Apple App Store. So you see this one has transparency in it and you can't post any transparency in the icon when you go through Apple. So let's go reveal and finder. Now I just had this lying around from my last project so we're just going to go ahead and use this icon. So go ahead drag this into images and we can just replace icon. Now we have a big image. This one's 1024 by 1024. Now we can go about actually publishing it to the App Store. So we want to leave EXP running. If EXP isn't running for you, go ahead and do EXP start. Then we are going to come over into a new tab through command T and we are going to do EXP build colon iOS. So now it's going to walk us through some things like Expo handles all credentials, or this option down here which is where you do some of the work. Uh, I'm going to just do everything automatically. You need to sign into your Apple ID and you need a paid Apple account if you're going to actually post apps to the App Store. Um, please don't spam my email and it's going to set up the profiles. It's going to set up our distribution and it's going to set up our push certificate. Now we just kind of wait a little bit while it does all the work for us. It's pretty great. All right, sweet. So now that this is done, we see that our uh, our app is all published, the bundles are built, the assets are uploaded. We have a URL that we can hit on Expo. Now we're going to actually our Expo servers are going to be building the IPA file for us. We can monitor it at any time by typing exp build status. And it looks like the build is in progress. All right, so while this is building, we can actually go ahead and add our app to the App Store. So what you're going to want to do is go over to itunesconnect.apple.com, and then once you sign in, you can go to My Apps, and you'll go right over here to the plus sign, hit New App. You can add the name of your app. So we're going to go ahead and call this one Printer Paradise. You can choose your primary language, English and then your bundle ID you should be able to see your bundle ID in here already printer paradise and then the SKU so usually I just do the same thing for the SKU that I did for the uh, bundle ID so com dot evan bacon dot printer paradise 
and oh, also select your platform. So we're gonna click on this uh, 1.0, prepare for submission, and you see over here, we've got a place where we can upload our screenshots, but what we really care about is this, the build part. You can upload using Xcode, or you could use Application Loader 3.0, so just click that and you can download it. It's a pretty hefty download, so we'll just wait for that. Okay, sweet, so after downloading it, I noticed that I have this note here that says, remember not to download it a third time. You can go ahead and open it up, which mine was actually open this whole time. So now we just need to see if the expo thing is done building. And it is done building. So now that it's done building, we have this sweet URL that we can drop into our browser of choice and we'll get our IPA file. All right, once it's done downloading, we go into the application loader and we can choose our application. And here you go, we have all this information. We can hit next and it is going to start uploading it to the App Store. This is a, a waiting game. All right, now that it is done being added to the App Store, you can see this handsome little green check mark up here and you'll see this beautiful next button and then done. All right, so after we are done application loading, then we can come back to iTunes Connect and we can come over to the activity tab and we should see our application here, version 1.0, and it will be processing. So we're gonna wait a while and then we're gonna come back and it will be done processing. Luckily, I already waited a while. So we're gonna refresh the page and you're gonna see version one. So now all we have to do is come back over here to App Store, go to 1.0 Prepare for Submission, and then we're going to scroll down a little bit. You see we can select a build, and we can select our build, version 1.0. So now that we've picked our build, we can go ahead and submit this for a review. After we've submitted for a review, we have to wait a few days, and then Apple will let us know um, if they roll their dice, that if the numbers do, so I, I'm not sure how they pick, but it's usually random. So, after a few days, they will let you know why they denied your app, and you can change those things and resubmit it. If you're very lucky, you'll get it on the first try. All right, and that is about it for uploading an Expo app to the iOS App Store. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or add them to our awesomeforms.expo.io, or we have a Slack channel, or you could tweet to us or email us or smoke signal any means of getting a question to us thanks so much for watching i am evan bacon from expo ciao